Good morning, Tightliners, and welcome back to the channel on a very nostalgic morning for me. I'm fishing here on what is known as Slate Beach. If I turn the camera this way, hang on a minute, turn the camera like that, out in the distance over there, you'll see Pumaris, I think, just out there, Pumaris. Behind me over here, around over there is Penryn Dock and then a bit further around there is Bangor Pier. Yes guys, I've come home. So, I used to fish this spot with the lads. We used to come on the bikes, just from across the bay over there, Hirel Bay, and we used to come here and we used to catch flounder. Now hopefully there'll be one in here today. I've got some crab that I got from by the pier earlier. I've got one in the moment. I got a Wessex rig. Um, I've got Aberdeen hooks on there. They are one o's, but the size of flounders we used to get here, that would be no problem. Second rod is about to go out. I'm going to load that up now with half crabs and I've got size 2 Aberdeens on that one and let's hope there will be a flounder in here now the plan is hopefully if I can get a flounder fairly handy is to wrap it up here and go off somewhere else and see what other species I can get today like I said this week and next week is all about trying to get as many species as possible Well, there's quite a few birds flying. Oh, I don't know if you've seen them. They've already hit my line once. And I got a little bit excited thinking there was a bite straight away. But anyway, I left it there, obviously. and Obviously, I knew it was that in the end. But yeah, here we are in Bangor. Sleep beach. And as long as I got a bait in that water, I've got a chance of catching a fish. The other species that I might catch here is a bass and at night here we used to catch the odd codling as well I'm not hoping for a codling today to be honest with you but if I do get one it's a bonus right let's get this other bait in the water and in a bit I will show you how I peel crab and uh, present it on the hook Villa Arver, a sauce of Rupert, the Yachindal. Right, guys, let's get a second bait in the No grip blades required. Yes, yeah, so and now we're fishing. I really do hope that this will be here today. I might even set up a third rod. Try and maximise my chances. It feels strange being back here. Probably the first time I've fished here in over 30 years. Let's get some other rigs ready and maybe another rod as well. I've got the beach and pier with me as well. So I've got one out, a little bit to the left. The first one who has straight to it, straight. And then what I'll do is if I do the beach and pier, I'll put that one out to the right.
Yes, guys. This is what it's about. School holidays. And we're out fishing. Easterly wind, which means it's in our face here. East isn't brilliant, we all know that. But what I might do later is head off over to the west coast of Anglesey again and uh, have a look what's happening over there. I saw Sir Rupert Miller out of there. Right, guys, time for the first beat. Bottom one looks a little bit worse for wear than the top one. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just for now I'll top those up with uh, claws, get them sent back out, and get some other another crab for you. Right, the tide's coming right up. I didn't expect that. I'd forgotten how high you can come up here. Um, running out of beach. <laughs> Let's get this one back in the water. Right guys, I have shown this on a video in the past. So there we go. There's our crab. That's a male crab. That triangle kind of thing there. That shows it's a male crab. Right, so the way I prepare them, take the claws off. Don't throw the claws or the legs because they're good bait. Just good top of feet. Right. So, there's a crab without the legs. Right, what I do then is I take, peel, start peeling it from the bottom. Sometimes it's easy just to get underneath things with your scissors as well. Just get it started. There we go. Take off all the hard shell, as much of the hard shell as you can, especially when fishing for flounder. Um, I find that the flounder like soft baits. I might have to go fish up the top in a minute. The water's coming right up to the top here, you know. Got another, I don't know, half an hour, 35, maybe 40 minutes before the top of the tide. So there you go. All the bits off the, where the legs came off. Try and get as much of that off as you can without damaging the crab too much. Like that. Right, then the back, if you press in the sides, then that will come off quite nicely. Just inside here as well, there's a bit of hard shell just inside where the lungs are. Try and get rid of some of that as well. Like that. Now all I've got is soft crab there. Now then, so I'm using two hooks and half a crab for flounder will be enough. So snip it in half. Right, 
Right. I'm using these size two or even size four hooks. Uh, they're the um, Chinu specialist Chinus from Limitless. So in through the back leg. In through the back. Bring the hook through. These are very small hooks. I haven't actually put crab on these hooks before. I think I would prefer using a, an Aberdeen with a longer shank. I need to put an order into Limitless. They have now got some beautiful Aberdeens just for this kind of fishing. So anyway, it'll go on the hook there like that. Get your bait elastic. And then bind it on. It doesn't have to be hard. So we will bind it on so we get keep all that juices in. There we go. Keeping the hook point proud. I've got water by my feet now. <laughs> I'm going to go up the top there. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to do that. They can't stop me fishing down here. But this land has been taken over by Dickie's boat yard that used to be on the other side of the bay. Anyway. So there we have a beautiful crab bait. That's a bit of shell there, then come off. Nice and soft, small enough to get into a flounder's mouth. And we'll do the same with the other one as well. Not seen any bites yet. But it does fish alright on the air here as well for about an hour, maybe two. Right. Like I said, in through the back leg. In through the back. Let's find that up. There we go. So, two lovely peeler baits like that. Right, I think I'm going to have to move. Yeah, definitely going to have to move. Right, I'm up off the beach. <laughs> no. Down here, this road here, we used to be able to drive from over there and park along here. Um, and we used to have club matches here. And we used to be able to drive all the way to the end of the on to the end of the dock as well. And uh, fish there, we used to have fur and feathers there. We used to have quite a few matches there, midweek matches. It was great. Fur and feather was absolutely superb. We'd have all of their cars there, we'd have flasks of soup and everything provided. It was great, it was. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stick this out 
so like I said, up to the top of the tide and down at least an hour. If I don't get a fish here, go to plan B. Right, I think it's time for a bait check on the second one I put out. They come back pretty much as good as they were when they went out. Let's get them back out there. Put that one back out. Um, probably should just change the bait, but I'll peel another cap now while I'm waiting. I have got some black lug with me as well. I might try that as well in a bit. Right, so I'll peel another crab. And if also also the birth, they also yeah, so I think all. Right. So I've rebaited the first two that have gone that went out. Put fresh crab on them. Um, I've also tried a bit of black lug on the top hook of uh, the three hook um, rig. It's getting a bit gnarly to be honest with you. See if I can turn it around so you can see the sea. Anyway, quite comfortable where I am here. It is coming up to the top of the tide now, I think. I'm going to check that now. Yeah, it's coming up to the top of the tide in about 10 minutes time. And then we'll fish it maybe an hour down and then try plan B somewhere else in the straits that I'm thinking of. Where I might catch a place there as well.
still nice to be back here. I'll come back again later in the year. Maybe see if we can get some of the old lads down here. Do a very special video on that one. Might even do it the way we used to do it. Walk over or cycle over. Didn't used to carry as much tackle back then. It's just trying to find the fish. One fish will do this session for me. I'd be quite happy to get one flounder and get out of here. But there's nothing touching the baits yet. This easterly wind doesn't do any good either, to be honest. Anyway, let's get back to it. There's also a mouth like a doll. Right then, guys. So, like I said earlier, this place is known as the Slate Beach. Well, this slate comes from Penryn Quarry up in Bethesda. Now, they were shipping slate out of this dock until 1963. Um, a lot of it obviously was waste and was just piled onto the beach here. Um, yeah, so 1963 they were taking slates from here in ships, probably all the way Liverpool, Ireland and far away as well. The quarry is still going in Penryn and uh, obviously it produces some quality slates. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of the history of why this place is called Slate Beach. At the moment though, no bites, baits are coming back untouched and the wind is howling in my face. coming up to high. I'll keep changing the baits and then what I'll do is I'll uh, make a decision in a bit and uh, get off and do plan B. No more Right, time for a bait check again on this one. Right, so I've got one of this really slimy green weed on the line. Not good. Clogs up the leaf or not. Baits coming back pretty much as they were when they went out. Right. 
get uh, some more beat on this one, get it back out. Keep trying, not my pity. Right, I said I had a plan B, but I'm going to plan C now before going to plan B. It doesn't make a lot of sense, I know. I just think I'm just going to have a go at the end of the dock. If they move me on, they move me on. But uh, I'm going to give it a go. So we're going to go to the end of Penryn Dock itself um, and fish with the wind to my back, fish into the channel where the boats come through. Used to be good. I don't know. Here used to be good as well. Well, it still probably is. Anyway, I'll get over there and I can do. Right, guys, so I'm at the end of the, the uh, dock here now in Penryn. Rebased out again. So I put one out towards Garth over there in Bangor. That area there is called Gar Garth. And then I've put another one out over that way to Hirel. And then I've put another one straight in here between the two docks. I've had some good clonking flounder in there. Um, granted, it was December kind of times for the fur and feather. But uh, yeah, I've also had codling off here, coolies, silver eels. Don't need another one of them now though. Right, let's see what happens. It's now five past 12. I'm gonna give here until about one, get out of here and then do plan B. Like I said, this is plan C before plan B. I'd forgotten about, well, not forgotten about it. I didn't think I could get onto here, but it doesn't look as if there's no signs saying that I shouldn't be on here. So I'll stay until somebody tells me otherwise. said I'll give it three quarters of an hour on here now just a little over three quarters of an hour I'm not going to throw good bait away for too long if I can help it hopefully we'll get a fish here so like I was saying to you earlier I grew up on the other side of the bay here at the moment, they're strengthening the uh, flood wall. I don't know, you might be able to see some yellow flashing lights over there. I lived in the streets going up from there. So we used to meet up as lads, and we used to go up Beach Road and walk around into here, or come down on our bikes to here and onto the sleep beach, like I said. Good days, easy days. And there was plenty of fish back then as well. Like I said, I've probably not been here for 30, maybe 35 years. <laughs> right. What's also sort of a thriller ever as we like at all? Right. There must have been some activity on here quite recent. Just picked that up now. A rig. No hooks on it. But anyway, I've picked it up. I'll dispose of that when I get home. So there must have been somebody on here quite recent. My dad has mentioned that he has talked to somebody um, and they had one or two coddling here kind of in the, well, December-ish, I think. Not big ones though. Maybe should have had to go back then. <laughs> we'll see. Right guys, I'm going to knock it on the head here. It's not happening. So, I'm going to go have a cup of tea with my dad and my mum. I need to go take something back to Halfords. And then I'm going to link up with Kay somewhere and see what we can do. Brilliant getting back here. Brought some memories back to me. And uh, anyway, 
fish chase we were playing ball today. What I will do now though is have a couple of casts with this new rod just to straighten the line out and what have you and just to see it's just the perfect place to have a go. Uh, swing the lead a little bit, going around. same way as it went out really, not even crabs and sinking it, which is the same sort of thing. So not a lot of life in there today to be honest, not none at all. Felt good. That went a long way. One or two more. Bad. I can just learn to get a few extra yards that might just help in some venues. And this rod will be a big investment. Limitless universal match. Online through limitless fishing tackle. Right, time to get out of here. The next time I speak to you, we'll be fishing somewhere different. Namakadu. Right. right, guys, so here we are back out. Kay's down there. Anyway, so this is now plan D. Plan A didn't go to plan. Plan B didn't happen. Plan C on the end of the dock didn't do very well. So now we're here now on a rock mark, back on Anglesey. We got easterly winds, which means that the wind's coming right over our top here. And the sea is 
flat cam. Two baits have gone out. I put a triple sand deal out on one on a uh, pulley rig with a 5 Kamakiri and 5 Black Nickel as a circle hook on the top. And I've put an up and over with a 5 Kamakiri and a 3 offset circle on the top of that one. Right. Could be rays, hearse, dogs, rocklin. Could be anything. Also on ragworm baits in daylight now, there is a chance, I suppose, of an early place. So that's the next thing to do, get the scratching rig out and give that a go with some ragworm on it. Also going to have a go down the sides, see if we can get myself a ras and any other bits and bobs that I can find. Hopefully I can get a fish this time. It's now coming up to five o'clock, quarter to five. Probably fish until about, I don't know, half a seven, maybe eight o'clock. And I might even watch the Wales game later. Right. Let's get things set up and hopefully the next time I bring the camera on, there'll be a fish. No Okay, with the fish on on the lure, probably a pollock. Watch him have a bloody piece of weed on it now. Careful, Kate. Oh, I can see it. That's not a bad fish. Yeah. There we go, guys. There's a fishing video with a fish in it. Nice one, Kate. Yeah. Right, guys. So, uh, the only fish so far is Kay's Pollock. The sand deal bait that I put out there has started showing the first signs of a bite. It does look like our friend the dogfish. I put a two up, one down, all with ragworm out. That's not done anything just yet. And I've got my little play around one ready now to go down the sides and see if you can find anything to beat the blank for today. I don't know if you can see it, right hand side rod over there, the yellow tip on it. Definite bite. I'll bring that in in a minute now. Guys, don't forget, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, remember. But you'll do me a great favour by doing so. Also, don't forget, we've got KNP Outdoors here as well. Down there. Don't forget to go and check his channel up as well. I don't know about that. I thought that would have had plenty of time there now. Anyway, I'll give it, leave it a bit longer. Let's have a little go down the sides. Normal cutting. Right, guys, there's the blank sorted. A triple shot of waiting. Let me see, let me see if I can get them in shot. There's two, there's three. 
and there's something having to go at the macro beat now as well. Right, what I'll do is I'll take two of these, release one, and uh, use them for fresh bait in a bit when it gets a bit darker. What do you reckon, Kay? One without the bait, yeah? Pardon? Say one without the bait, yeah? We'll keep two, yeah? Keep the smaller ones. In that match on Sunday, I managed one double shot. Why couldn't I get triple shots there? First cast here, three. Anyway, this one's going back. Probably going to end up seal food anyway. Right, let's get it back out there. Got a kayaker. What a beautiful way to travel. I don't know if you can see him over there. I can't see anything on the camera. There we are on a beautiful day in the Easter holidays. Somebody out kayaking. And why not? Hopefully we'll get the kayaks out a bit more often this year. I had it out once last year, if you remember. Not good. Right guys, just had to go down the side there, got snagged, lost everything. Kay's had one small pollock down the side. This one's been scratching, oh this, the one with the three hook out there was bouncing there again there now. Definitely fish on. Probably more things. Be nice if it wasn't though. Be nice if it was something different. Bacon, add, place, whatever. Big sitting. There you go. Not a bad size one. Still small really though. Nice. Really nicely hooked in the lip. So that will should should go back quite nicely. The macro bait I put out there as well. That's been showing signs of a bite when I was down the bottom there. I'll just put the rod down. I forget about the little teeth that these guys have got. There we go, guys. Another waiting. I'm sure you'll be sick and tired of seeing these before long. Anyway, spring's coming, and we hopefully we'll see the end of these. We won't, but yeah, because they'll always be here. Normal for dig. Right, guys. I think there probably is a fish on this one this time. And not just crab. Or maybe it's just a crab. Nothing telling me. Nothing pulling back against me. It's a crab, it's a big crab. Oh, it is a fish. And it is the first dog. There we go, guys. Just the doggy, nothing exciting.
Right, so white singing dogs and small pollock close in. Let's get a fresh bait on this one. Mangled. That was hooked nicely in the lip by the circle. Right guys. Bait up again, get it out, and hopefully for something more than just a dogfish, normal could do. Right. After trying for two and a half months for one, <coughs> a little double shot of whiting and a little dab. That whiting's going back out now. It's a dab's lucky day. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some on it. Look at that sunset, guys. People ask us, why do we come out and only catch small whiting and things like that? Well, there we go. And I've got a double doggy bite, I think, on the other two rods now. Look at that. Let's see if you can see the bites on there. Okay, going out. Way! <laughs> he was trying for it. That one unclipped. Yeah, yeah. Absolute beautiful colours in the sky, guys. Superb. Okay, just had a little ball in there now. I could do one of them for my specimen hunt. Let's see if I can get one. Right, guys. At last, something to add to the specimen list. I do believe that this is a rock kook. I may be wrong, but I'm sure it is. It's got lots of nice blue colours in the face. I'll get it photographed and uh, we'll see what the experts say. But I'm pretty sure it is. Nomachetik. Right, let's get this beautiful fish back. See this band on the tail here? The colours on the face. I'm pretty sure that's a rock hook. Get in. That's species number 22 of the year. Kay's telling me to slow down. But I'm not going to. I need to speed up. <laughs> anyway, he's on what, 24? He's on 24, I'm on 22. And I know Dave Cave's on 23. Normal for dig. Right guys, so whiting going out next. Seen this sort of rig before guys. Six ounce lead splash down. Let me see if we can get it down to there. That blue thing there is your pulley system. Um, and it's all 80 pound all the way through. Right. This twilight session now, guys. Oh, there's a bite on the mackerel head. It looks a bit more than whiting, <laughs> fishing on it. Keep an eye on that and see what happens. Let's get this in. Not much, I think. Right. Right hand side rod. Okay, he's just had a dog. The right hand side rod there, uh, that's got a macro half on it and it's starting to, well, the last five minutes something's been happening on it and it's pulling a bit of line every now and then. 
dare we hope, think that it could be something decent. There's something there. Probably a 3D doggy. What's that on the back foot? Yeah. It's not got any attitude. <laughs> Even with studs on it. Ah, just another doggy, but I just want to show you the size of the bait that that's taken. Not that I want to show you the doggy, but look at that. Greedy, greedy fish. But anyway, beautifully caught with the circle hook again. There we go. That's out. Go and tell your cousins with the big spots on that we're here. Go on, off you go. Right, let's get this one baited up once more. There might be something big there, we know. Who knows? No more big bait. Right guys, next bait going out. Whole squid on the up and over. Seen them plenty of times. Right, let's get out there. Let's see if there's any monsters in there. Right, guys. So the squid that I put in, I had a bit of a miscast. What I mean by a miscast is that my thumb slipped and it went in short. Um, and it is starting to show a bite here now. But every time I pick it up, it doesn't want to give it a go. And every time I put it down, it starts bouncing. <laughs> this is the last bait now, guys. I've packed everything else away. Keys all packed up. It's it. Something there. I think there's something there anyway. It looks like it. It feels heavy, but uh, it's not got attitude. But it's only another dogfish. Right, so that's the third dogfish for me tonight. Didn't want to see that on that bait, to be honest with you. But there we go. Time to get out of here now. Home for tea. And then plan tomorrow's session.
put everything to charge. Right, so not fantastic sessions today. Obviously, there was that nostalgic, nostalgic session down on the uh, Slate Beach this morning into this afternoon. Okay, no fish this time, but I will have to go back there. Slightly different wind conditions. Um, a little bit later on when the crab have proper started feeling. And then session here, nothing to me nothing to worry the uh, measuring stick. But I did get one new species for the list. I believe that was a rock cook. The experts will tell me whether it is or not. Anyway, guys, until tomorrow, keep your lines tight.